Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. It's Jane from Chalk Mercantile and, of course, Surface Anthology. Um, I am really excited to get, well, I've started the jewelry box already, but I want to show you what I'm doing, uh, how I'm handling the, the conundrum of the hardware on this jewelry box. I'm going to grab a link for my text people and get that over there. All right, off it goes. So before I start painting, I'm going to show you what I have back in stock because I've been getting a lot of questions. Oh, my camera is not, there we go, even. Um, about Miss Mustard Seed. So I have gotten a lot of stuff in. Um, the beautiful uh, Milk Wax Eco. This is their natural wax with a really dreamy, um, very soft kind of natural smell. A little bit citrus, but not like an acrid citrus. Really nice. And I have it in three sizes. The 16 ounce the eight ounce and the little four ounce. So there you go. And and this wax is beautiful. I just brush it on. Good morning, Danielle. Good morning, Jeannie. How are you guys? It's a beautiful day here in Connecticut. You can see the sun shining in. I got up really early this morning. I had an 8 a.m. doctor's appointment to get my, my jaw shot up with Botox, the second one, and I don't do it out of vanity. Uh, I do it because I clench and grind my teeth, so I need to handle that. Um, and it actually, you know, knock on wood, it's it's been working. So these are the waxes that just came in and, or back in, I sold out. I've got the, it's called milk oil, and this is hemp oil. Look at how cute the little one is. They're adorable. Good morning, Joni. Hey, Barbara. How are you guys? Joni, I know you all know she's from Weathered Wing. She's fabulous. Joni, I'm using some paint that I got from you, and I'm really loving it. But anyway, this is the milk oil. It is hemp oil, and it is back in. I love it. For those of you in the membership, um, we're going to be covering that because this month is milk paint month <laughs> membership. I also got the, now this is slightly different. It's not the eco wax. It's just the milk wax, clear, and it's equally as fabulous though. I'll tell you that. And let me grab my paint. Um, here's the farmhouse white, like my one of my most popular colors, back in stock, a, along with a bunch of other ones. And because the wood tags have been so popular, I got a lot of them back in. So those of you making Christmas ornaments, you know, door tags, knob, doorknob hangers, whatever people do. These are fabulous. They're made out of a birch plywood, unfinished, so they're ready to do all those fun things with. All right. Now, I am using, I'll tell you what I'm using. I love this color, Joni. It's um, DIY paint. This is a clay. It says chalk and clay. So that's all minerals, right? Um, based paint, it's really beautiful. And I'm using this color vintage linen, which I love. It kind of reads as white, but it's not like a bright blinding white. And this jewelry box, which is really huge, um, is happy Friday. Hey Sandy, how are you today? I know it's the weekend almost. And let me tell you guys, my my appointment this morning was at 8 a.m. I got there 15 minutes early because I'm a nut about that. And you know when you have a really early morning appointment, I, you know, I'm like, okay, I gotta get up, take a shower, eat something, have my coffee, have my 10 minutes of 
like space out time. I kept thinking about it all night. So I was up since 2.30. So I said, I'm going to go live now because I'm going to crash in a couple of hours. And Joni is saying about the paint, it's mostly clay. And Joni, I believe you because it's, clay is, you know, I think of the texture of this reminds me of those really high end Italian clay masks. <laughs> That back in the day, I remember getting put on my face when I used to get facials. It's got this really dreamy, this is like, this is like the difference between ice cream and gelato. So DIY paint is like the gelato. It's just got this really, really smooth, refined texture. Um, so Joni, I, I got to tell you, I love it. I really, really do. It's beautiful. So... Last we met and we talked about this jewelry box, which is Japanese. It's got a, a stamp made in Japan. Everything is solid wood except for the top piece, which has a, a sheet of veneer on it. And not only that, these draws are so beautiful. They're rabbit. These are rabbit joints, these are called. Very Japanese. Um technique here a lot of uh, you know I'm I'm like really into Japanese stuff and it's like look at that joint all the way right um and when you look at Japanese boxes and things I used to carry some I, I had some antique Japanese boxes in my shop and that's why I learned about this joint because I was like I don't know what that joint is and my husband looked at it and he said, wow, the way they put this together, you see here, this little piece of wood right there. He goes, this is really, really beautifully made. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to mess this up. And Sandy, Sandy loves that DIY paint. Oh boy, you guys, you got me thinking now. <laughs> so anyway, this hardware it's cast, it's not pressed, it's good hardware, it's brass. For me, and I tried, for me to pop this out, to, to paint and then put it back in, I fear is going to um, damage these panels, which are separate pieces of wood. So I decided I'm going to have to paint around them. And what I did, and it's not as hard as I thought, because I was like, oh my God, this is going to be a nightmare, is I taped this handle part so if it drops in the paint, it's not going to get paint on it. And I kind of just went around with a little tiny brush. And I'll show you how I do that. And I'll show you, because the, of the type of paint that this is, wait, let me grab my toothpicks. Joni, how long have you been using DIY paint? Because I don't, I think you use DIY and you have another kind of paint, I think, that you carry. Is it Chateau or something French? So this is a humble wooden toothpick. And if you get any paint, let's see, right, hit it with some paint. I got to come in a little bit closer here, you guys. Let's see. Okay, and back, A, B. So, right there, I got paint on the hardware. All you have to do is you take your toothpick and you just push it right off. It just takes it right off. There's a big blob right there. I just take the toothpick and it comes right off. So it's not a paint couture. Okay, that's it. And that's acrylic paint. Yep. And you've had it for four years. Yeah. It's beautiful stuff, Joni. I really love it. Um, so this is how I'm painting the draws. And let me just show you. I tape them off. I am actually, if this was a really cheap jewelry box, I wouldn't do this. <laughs> but it's a nice one. So I just take my tape. 
right there at that little rabbit joint, right down. Burnish that with your finger. And then the other side. I have to tell you guys a little story while I'm doing this. It's hilarious. It's been nature, nature week at my house. And now we live on, we live in a really rural area of Connecticut. We have nine acres of woods. We didn't even put a lawn in. And we have a little brook that goes around our property. There's a lot of brooks where I am, a lot of water, and we're way up on a hill. And we get snapping turtles. <laughs> Every year, a female snapping turtle comes up and she lays her eggs. And we've never seen the baby, so this year my husband kind of created this whole thing around her one of her nests. And I was I was out walking my dogs the other morning, early in the morning, and I see this little baby snapping turtle. And let me tell you, it might be three inches. And I was like freaking out. My husband was in Hartford, and I called him. I'm like, the babies have been born, you know? And I brought the dogs in. I was I had to look at everywhere I placed my foot because I didn't want to squish one. And I ended up finding three. And we think, and this was probably around nine in the morning, actually. We think they must have come out, hatched overnight. And most of them were went down because they know to go towards water. And I ended up putting the three I found in a bucket and then sliding down in the woods in my slippers to the brook to release these turtles. <laughs> oh my goodness. It was very exciting and we haven't found any more. So that was, that was really cool. So you see my tape there. Now all I do, take a little piece and just like this. And there it goes. And these are staying up. That's the really good thing. The little handle stays up. Joni, you should have seen me. I was out and I'm like, thank God I brought my phone because otherwise I know I'm going to. I grabbed on and it's a really steep incline. <laughs> And it had rained. We got nine inches of rain the day before. <laughs> I grabbed onto a mountain laurel branch and it came out of the ground. And I'm like, they're going to find me dead in the woods <laughs> because I had to wear slippers. I just didn't think to put on good shoes. Oh, my goodness. Amy. Hey, Amy. Yeah, you're right over. <laughs> Amy is saying, LOL, I'm basically your neighbor. Amy, you're, o you're over the bridge in East Haddam, right? You're really in the, that's really the boondocks. The critter count is insane, absolutely. I went out yesterday and we had all these little orange, these exquisite orange salamanders with these neon um, blue spots. And then I took... A video of a hummingbird. We have hummingbirds here and we have all wildflowers. I have no lawn, nothing. And they go after these yellow wildflowers. And then he came right up to my glasses. You must have seen his reflection. <laughs> but yeah, Amy, it's bananas. Oh my goodness. In a really good way, right? All right, now let me show you quickly how I paint this. And, and when I tell you I love this paint, I am not exaggerating. All right, let's move this over. And I'm going to do the entire first coat on this piece, or the first color, because I want to do something decorative to it next week, is going to be this um, vintage linen. Yeah, Amy, we have on our, around here, you know, we have bears, we have fox, coyotes, owls, we have um, fishers, don't call them fisher cats, they're fishers, 
um, that are really cool. It's just really, really neat. All right, you got to give this paint, and I'm sure Joni's going to say this too, a really good stir. And if you don't, it might not be as opaque as um, you want it to be. And I had stirred this yesterday. So I just take some of this out. I'm not going to need a lot today to show you guys this. Cover this up. And here we go. I'm using a little tiny artist brush for the draws. And all I do And I'm using a round artist brush. I kind of wish I had started this with a um, a square for the panels here. See how the tip is round. Um, but since I started with a round, I'm sticking with a round. And like I always say, it's better to have more coats of thinly applied paint than thick, gloppy paint. And I'm just kind of brushing with the grain of this wood. I don't know what wood this is. It almost reminds me of a kind of cedar, but it's not because it doesn't smell and you could paint it well. Cedar is really difficult to paint because of all the oils. All right, just like that. So any of you that have the, a clenching problem, we'll get back to my medical issues. <laughs> Talk to your doctors about Botox. Because I'm just amazed. It's nice to hear too. Um, I have my window open. We don't need air today. Um, to hear that I have that little brook babbling. So I know it got at least enough water for now because we were, we're in quite a drought. All right, so there's that part painted. Now, all I do when I go around these little, and it's hard to do as I hold this up, but I just press my brush, just press it towards that. And even then I just kind of got a little blob of paint you don't want to have too much paint on your brush when you're going around something like this. And you know, and I just stuck my finger in there. This is, this is hard for me because I always take the hardware off of furniture. Oh my God. I keep getting my fingers in the paint. But that's it. And there's one down. So I'm going to paint, man, that is really bright. And the, the sun is coming in now. I am gonna paint all the draws, the entire piece in this um, DIY vintage linen. And I really, really love this color. I think this is two coats. It covers really well. Wow, I'm really getting burnt out there by the sun, by the light. But it covers really well. It's a really dreamy consistency. So, um, Joni, everything you said <laughs> is true about this paint. I'm really loving it. Now, when I come back next week, and remember, these jewelry boxes are like miniature pieces of furniture. And Amy, you got to get over to, I was at... um in Deep River, 
at um, G's Treasures. They have a lot of really great pieces. But I definitely want to do something with these panels. I thought about um, gilding them, you know, using some leaf on them. And I'm, I'm just not sure. I might do something really subtle with another color of paint. Um, or I might do something with some colored waxes and see how that looks. So that's what's going on. I hope all of you have a wonderful, wonderful Friday. And thank you so much for joining me. Uh, any questions at, at all, as always, just ask down in the comments. And let me know if you've used this paint or what your favorite paint is to use. I, I, I love trying out different kinds of paints and I'm, I definitely lean toward um, natural kinds of paint like the clay base, like this DIY, like milk paint, that kind of thing. So anyway, everybody, have a wonderful, wonderful Friday. Have a great weekend and I'll see you 